Limestone is amongst the most dramatic of all rock types in Britain. It's often carved into sculptural, spectacular shapes by the wind and the weather, but most of all, by water. And this steep-sided wooded valley in Dovedale in Staffordshire contains some of the best examples. Stacks and pinnacles rear up from the valley floor with Islam Rock, a 25-metre giant, the most famous. Its narrow face leans right out over the river. It's dramatic and it's dangerous and it's exactly the sort of challenge climbers love. And I am going to the top. These pinnacles are amongst the most unusual rock formations in the country and the climb will test me. I'm a decent climber, but the porous and unstable limestone can catch you out. It's a soft rock, which is soluble in water. The stacks are all that's left after millions of years of erosion have taken their toll on what was once a massive slab. How then is that still standing? Well, basically, it's luck. The river has cut down on the side, giving us a snapshot in time, because eventually it, it, will, it will wear away further, the process will carry on, um, and eventually it might, it might just topple over entirely. Professional climber Katie Whitaker is planning our route. She'll summit first and lower the safety rope that'll protect me if I fall. She knows Island Rock and its reputation well. That could be a tricky bit where the tree is, just because it doesn't look like there's many yeah. features on it to hold on to. Straight up the corner and then through the little overhang at the top, and it might be a little bit loose up there. It looks so loose at the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that it steepens out just when you're tired at the very end of the climb. Yeah. When your arms are full of lactic acid. Yeah. That's the acid that creates the burning sensation when the muscles are overworked. It's a familiar pain to athletes, and it robs you of strength. It's quite loose. A bit's falling off loose. Yeah. That's good news. That's what you want to hear. Towards the top, and as Katie reaches the hardest part, it becomes obvious that for me, this is going to be a tough climb. This is scary. <laughs> you get to that last bit, the bit where your arms are tired. The rock goes from vertical to this overhang, and it becomes so much harder to hang on. OK, it's pretty small up here. <laughs> I think it's going to be more of a struggle than I expected. I can see that the rock there is just so loose and all this vegetation is just breaking it up as well. It's quite wet. You know that how soft and loose this stuff is when you can get trees growing out of it. Halfway up the climb, I make a bad decision. Katie went left and I go right. Whoa, dear. Oh, it's completely loose. Whoa. That big flake of rock just there is basically entirely loose. And I pulled on it and the whole thing just shifted. I don't think I'd jump off it. I was going to pull it down in my face. It doesn't matter how good a climber you are, if the holes you're hanging off crumble underneath you, then you're only going to go one way. Whew. Heart in the mouth moment there. Right. A little moment to recover, and then we'll carry on and finish this off. That was scary. Now for the last critical section, which is going to be made more difficult because my hands are cold. The rock is freezing. I start to lose feeling in my fingers here. All that lactic acid in my hands. Try to hang on. It's really tight in my muscles. How's it going? Not so well. Man, this is hard. Look for a handhold, there's one there, is there? No. Nope. Yeah. Is there? You call that a handhold, do you? Oh, that was hard work. That was just an agony all the way up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was incredibly hard, much more so than I thought it would be. It was worth it to get here and stand here. And I saw a photograph of Katie stood here and I wanted one of my own. And this is it. Top of the world. Super scary stuff. Even as scary, though, is Vernon in an Elvis costume. And no, actually, you look good. You look really good.